when he comes down to the facility here. His auntie's in tow, and he comes into the room, and he has a big grin on his face, and he knows we set him up in the corner of the room, um, so he has plenty of space. The class that John's involved in is called the Stoneware's Creation class, and it's basically a pottery class. And uh, John came to us 15 years ago. So as Anne Arlene came to me and asked about maybe possibly letting John paint in the class, and we thought, well, why not? Because John has only one arm to use to paint with, we set up a large table for him, and we have a big box of acrylics, and we put the paints in a tray for him. And it's amazing when you work with adults with disabilities that you can communicate with them with art. For example, John can't talk. Um, John is, has a very, very difficult time communicating, but with painting and art, you can do it. You don't have to be able to talk. You don't know what he's going to come in with. He can do a painting in two hours, or he can complete a painting in eight weeks. And he puts all these beautiful colors on a canvas, and sometimes in less than five minutes, you walk away or I'll turn around and help another pottery student, and the painting transforms totally. And it's just delightful. In addition to the classes here at Northwest Art Center, John has worked with the Northwest Special Artist, and they have given him an opportunity to do an exhibit with other adults with disabilities at the Bellevue Art Museum. The name of the exhibit is called Rising Stars, and the show runs through March 15th. When I paint, I am very focused. He is very proud of what he does now. He's really developed into an independent individual. It's nice that he has this venue. It's good to see different people seeing his art. People that are not disabled are sometimes often very surprised on how many abilities really disabled people do have. It's good for, it's good for the community and it's good for the individuals. I think it benefits everybody. Please enjoy these paintings.